Good day. So final update on crowd seeding radishes. As you can see, it does work. Um, the thing I would say is that it slows down the process because we're in week, I think eight now. Um, and I have harvested several uh, from here, just a little here, a little there. But let me take you outside and show you. Uh, so if you have, I think these are going to seed. That's pretty cool too. Uh, but if you actually have the plot of land or an area that you can wait, this is pretty cool because you can grow these and pull them in succession So as you go. So as you can see, they are growing. They are actually doing the deed. So this is a slow process. Like these over here are just taken off. So as you pull them, the other ones would grow. So you could probably start a crowd seeding radish uh, set up like this and um, harvest them slowly throughout the year and have no problems. Now the stalks are getting pretty dang thick and I'm sure it's putting a lot of the power out to that. But I mean, as you can see, they're, they're, they're definitely growing. So um, do I recommend crowd seeding growing if you have the area? Am I going to do it again? Probably not because like these ones are going to go to the chickens because I have to get, uh, I've got to get my vegetables in for spring and get them planted and get this greenhouse going. So like I said in the beginning, this is a very good experiment. It's all about learning, but as you can see, they're getting big enough to where the tomatillos and the, the tomatoes and everything, everything's getting overtaken. I mean, look at this. This is the collards and this is the kale right here but it's getting taken over by the uh by the radishes but they are going to seed though that's kind of neat though so y'all stay safe keep your head on a swivel if you like what you see please like follow comment share and you know tell a friend <laughs>